In this video, we'll be preparing root tips of allium species to observe cells in various stages of mitotic division. Mitosis is one of the stages in the cell cycle where the chromosome of a cell replicate and separate to eventually form two genetically identical cells. Unlike in meiosis, chromosome number is maintained in both the daughter cells. For the experiment, you will need onion or garlic bulb, beakers, toothpicks, carnois fluid, 70% ethanol, one normal hydrochloric acid, acetocarmine or acetoorcine stain, glass lights and cover slips, blade or scalpel, watch glasses or petri dishes, tiny vials or containers, spirit lamp or Bunsen burner or any flame source, blotting paper, droppers, thumb forceps and a pair of scissors, compound light microscope and immersion oil. To begin the experiment, Take an onion or garlic bulb and fix it on a beaker containing tap water using toothpicks like you see here. Make sure the base of the bulb touches the water level. Keep this in a safe corner for a couple of days. Once the roots have grown about 2 to 3 centimeters, cut out 1 centimeter of root tips and transfer them into a tiny vial containing carnois fixative fluid. Carnois fluid fixes the DNA of the root tip cells. Leave the roots in the fixative for about 48 hours. If you're planning on storing the root tips for a longer time for use in future, you may transfer the fixed root tips in a second vial containing 70% ethanol. Ethanol dehydrates the root tissue and thereby preserves DNA. Root tips preserved in ethanol and preferably refrigerated will keep well for a couple of years for genetic studies. Either ways, take a few root tips from carnois fluid or ethanol and transfer them onto a watch glass containing one normal hydrochloric acid. Acid will soften the cell walls and weaken cellular connections so it becomes easy to squash the root material later. Gently warm the watch glass on a flame for about 5 seconds. Expose the root tips in the acid for about 2 minutes. Give the root tips a couple of washings in distilled water. Now transfer the roots onto a watch glass containing acetocarmine or acetoorcine stain. These are excellent chromosomal stains and will impart a deep red coloration to the nuclear material of the root cells. Warm the stain on the flame for about 5 seconds and leave the root tips in the stain for about 5 to 10 minutes. Now transfer the root tips onto a clean glass light containing a drop of water. Using a sharp blade or scalpel, Remove about a millimeter of the root tip and discard the rest. The very tips of the roots are the regions with active cell division, and they are all that we require for mitotic experiments. Gently lower a cover slip on the root tips making sure to avoid any air bubbles. Using the blunt end of a forcep or a pencil, gently tap the cover slip a few times until the root tips are uniformly squashed in between the slide and the cover slip. A properly squashed slide will appear faint cloudy pink to almost colorless. The root tip slide is now ready for microscopic observation. This is how a finely squashed root tip appears under 10x of the microscope. As you can see, the cells of the root tips are nicely spread out with almost no overlappings. If root tips are not squashed enough, you may repeat the squashing process until you get well spread root cells. Scan the slide for cells showing mitotic division stages under low power and then proceed to observation under high power, such as 40x or 100x oil immersion lens. For observations under 100x objective, you will need to add a drop of immersion oil on top of the cover slip and gently lower the objective lens until it touches the oil surface. From there, use the fine adjustment knob for focusing. You may take micro photographs of the various stages by employing a simple technique using a mobile phone and a tripod like so. And here's a quick slideshow of the various mitotic stages of cell division in root tip cells of allium species.